did um, GDIP and then you did CPA PEP for Capstone 1, Capstone 2, and then the CP. Yep. Uh, and then what the would... CP again. And then, hmm? And then the CP again. And then the CP again. How about you uh, tell me a little bit about that? Sure thing. So when I first wrote the CP, I passed day two and three, but not day one. So then the next year I took, a, I think only, so the first time I took like the whole recommended time off, like the yeah. month and a half or two months or whatever it is. Yeah. And what did you do and during I, that time? Um, I tried to follow the study guide yeah. to the, pretty much to the T. Yeah. I would say I didn't do as many day one practice cases as I should. But did you do all the, like they, they have one in the module workshop and then one in week three and one in week six. Did you do those? Um, I did, but I okay. would, I like, didn't do them on time. So one of them didn't get graded. Okay. And then, did you debrief them? I think, honestly, I'm yeah. trying to remember back. I'm going to, I'm going to say you did. Cause I, I yeah. just, I'm pointing this out for people because, you know, um, hindsight is 2020. So, you know, looking at in lens, I, I firmly believe that you did every, everything that was reasonable. And mm -hmm. now what the advice that you're here in part to give um, to, you know, the people that you're lifting up our Dal alum is like, sure. okay, how do no, you know what I know now? Hmm? The briefing definitely is a key. Yeah. Um, yeah. How do I know, like, you know, maybe put a little bit more emphasis on day one, because uh, as you kind of alluded to, uh, you pass day two and day three, which people tend to say is like the really hard part. Yeah. And then um, we're unsuccessful in day one. So tell mm -hmm. me a bit about, about that. So I actually got it uh, reviewed by Densmore. Um, I got the like PEP thing. The PAR, well. yeah, the performance mm -hmm. assessment report. And so um, when I submitted it to Densmore, they, the words that they used were, you are so very close to passing. Ugh. essentially I if I had done like I know they so n not advice for students but had I focused on two of the issues and instead of spreading out like the power the the um points like to address on each of the issues um I believe I would have passed so I was essentially one um bullet point short on three of the issues and so had I like mentioned one more pro or con on like one of those, I would have passed. Is so I, I just, I want to be very careful just because I, yeah. I do a lot of work at CPA, um, like PEP. And yeah. so feel free to cut the, like any of these. No, 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 out. we won't cut anything out, but like, it's, it's, um, one of those things that like reading the, the board reports, possibly if you had taken, um, what I, what I interpret that to be is maybe a little bit of your operational items and put it to one of the strategic um alternatives yeah. then that would have been but but yes yeah because I, uh, I forget i'm not like no no honestly, no, 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 worries, no worries i just want to make sure or went out of my head or I, like you have the four strategic alternatives you had just overdone one and perhaps like if, if one of the other ones had had one more element then you would have been yes exactly yeah. okay i just want to i want to bring it up because it's not like and I know this isn't what you were saying, but sometimes people will be like, oh, there's four SA strategic um, alternatives. And then there's some operational elements. Oh, I just won't do one of the essays. And it's like, no, no, no. Like you have to do them mm -hmm. all. You have maybe, to do them all for sure. Maybe one, just one of the three. And listen, I love that you shared this because I, I failed mod five, which is right before the CP. And the same thing when I like got my transcript analyzed, it was so frustrating because uh, yeah, it was one of like, like three, one more mark, one more pro or con, one more this. And so, and that also being said is not every single pro or con you or I write is going to count because sometimes you just have a bad pro or con. So what was the biggest element that you kind of learned from getting that performance assessment report? Were you, were you frustrated that you were so close? Were you empowered that you were so close? Like what was kind of going through your mind when you first found out? And, and then how did you use it to shape your studies? Um, I would say I almost wish I had fucked up something. Oh, yeah. sorry, not to swear. No, um, no, no, no. That's like, like one of my favorite swear words. It's all good. There'd be like a, like a clear thing I could work yeah. on to improve and pass next time. But it was just that like, I just hadn't like used my time as effectively. Or like, I think honestly, like I didn't really change too much of what I did for the second time I wrote. I pretty much did the exact same thing and just 
um, made sure to write a little faster, put more bullet points on every of the strategic alternatives, and just hope that that, that would help me pass. Yeah. I mean, what's super cool about that is, <sighs> yeah, if you had like fucked up really big, then it's like, hey, sweet, I have a big target to yeah, aim at. Yeah, exactly. When it's so close, it almost becomes a mental game because it's like, okay, you really shouldn't change very much. Yeah. Because you were almost there. And, but you just need to tweak and tweak and like, and ramp it up. And then for myself, writing, um, the module exam the second time. Like I know going into it, I had all these emotions. I also had a little bit of like bitterness, like I shouldn't be here. Like I was so close. And then like shame. I'm like, oh, I can't believe I'm here. Like what's mm -hmm. going to go on? What are people thinking? What am I thinking? What's happening? And so it's like the mental game of that rewrite. I find it's kind of where you really get to like For prove sure. yourself and be like, can I show up when, um, when I don't, I'm angry <laughs> or I'm sad. Yeah. Very fair. Honestly, like yeah, just the not having a target is difficult. So it's like, I need to make sure I stick to what like the Densmore like guide is, but like, I also don't want to change too much. So like, I know it works for me and just yeah. like trying to fine tune it, I would say. Absolutely. And I'm like, I'm all about continual like performance and tweaking and, you know, I know, know you are as well. And for better or worse, since uh, the year that you wrote, they have been coming out with better and better day one guidance. And so, you know, I'd say my biggest piece of advice to people that are concerned with day one is A, be concerned. Be concerned with day mm -hmm. one, be concerned with day two, be concerned with day three, because you need to pass all three. And yeah. with day one, read the board of examiners report now, because they actually tell you, um, you know, how to integrate your situational analysis. They will tell you more and more about what candidates did well and not saying that you didn't read it, but it's just, I find, um, that they give more information now, which, mm -hmm. you know, I would say that the worst thing I did on day one, the time I passed is I had five minutes left at the end and I was like, feeling very confident about it. So I was like, no, I've written enough points on each of them. I don't need to add any more. I'm good. And I would say, just make sure you're using your time up to the very end. Like, don't take those last five minutes for granted. Like you're yeah. better safe than sorry. Alex, I did the same thing. Yeah. I did the same thing. And I would now, yeah, you use the time, right? But the good thing is, is like lots of people experience lessons but not a not everybody looks at them and figures out how am I going to grow from this and yeah. even fewer people just put it out to the world put it out to the next generation um to share so like thank you for being no so problem. yeah open and, and so then when I wrote it the second time I took like two weeks off and just practiced a bunch of the cases the tough thing about rewriting day one is there's not a lot of like yeah. practice cases you can rewrite like no essentially exactly. everything I had seen I'd seen before and there's like one or two new ones that gave me an opportunity to see. Yeah. 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 So then you just, how did you study? Did you focus on any of the technical? Because the technical is still at a core level. Like it's still, you know, some pretty in-depth technical. I did not focus on any of the technical. Like I was like, yeah, I definitely went through my like core or my booklet for yeah. some dance more a few times. Like, and then like, essentially the management aspect of it because that sometimes comes up on uh day ones but the main thing I was just familiarizing myself with was was like the strategy and I was just hoping that like my ingrained knowledge from the CPA and just all the accounting course I took stuck in oh yeah absolutely and listen you already had the confirmation that you were uh competent across all levels of core uh, breadth and depth uh, and all of those technical six competent areas. And then, um, you know, elective level depth in your assurance competencies. So of course, like it would make sense. So it's just, it's just kind of neat because it's like, okay, okay, this is what I'm going to do. This is how long it took me. And then going in there, um, how did you feel when you left? Like, did you, yeah. Oh, what, I was what... very nervous. I was like, uh, like uh, the way I came out of it was, all right, I'll read it a third time. Like, I'll be better the third time. It'll be a new case. I'll have a lot more practice options. Yeah. I was very much uh, prepared for the worst. Like the first time I, uh, or the first results day I had, 
I was playing Phil Collins in the air tonight just because I was very confident. And I was like, oh, yeah, it'll it'll come. I, like, it's an easy pass. And so then the second time I was like, eh, I, like, I didn't want to get my hopes up. I didn't want to be yeah. disappointed again. Like, honestly, not too disappointed the first time as I did pass, like, days two and three. Yeah. But, like, I was definitely, like, not the most optimistic. I was like, better safe than sorry and putting up like shields so that I wouldn't get too disappointed. Both are heartbreaking, but both are really relatable. So based on your personal